Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be doing another DLSS 4.5 quality and performance test. This time I'll be using Cyberpunk 2077. So base resolution will be 3840 by 2160. Now in terms of the settings, of course I'm using Transformer model. I'm using Nvidia DLAA for the native. Then I'll be using uh, the performance preset for DLSS 4.5. Now I have turned off DLSS ray reconstruction as you guys have noted. That ray reconstruction is currently basically overwrites the profile and essentially makes it inactive. So if you want to use DLS 4.5, you do need to turn this off at this time. Maybe there's a way to update the profile using DLSS Swapper or something, but I haven't done that yet. So this is the way I'm going to be doing it. And I'm um, be using path tracing. So the game is going to be insanely demanding. And what we're going to find out is um, just how much different the game looks and how playable it is at both settings.
you ask me, your word's worth more than any eddies. Ah, oh, you just say that because you ain't got no eddies. Neither do you. True, <laughs> but I ain't the one spouting no feel-good bullshit. You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. I was to be its heart, to uphold life, ensure continuity, stability, never to oppose it. Huh. Guess your Nobu's instructions were a little different. Yorinobu raised his hand against our father, but he is an Arasaka. He is family. I do not expect you to understand. I wish you merely to know I do not oppose my brother willingly.